Good morning, all. Welcome to yoga for all this morning. So do what you can, love what you do. Um, that's, that's all that's really expected of you is to just breathe. Breathe and move, right? And it doesn't necessarily have to move the way my body moves. Allow your body to move so that your body feels good, so you feel content in your mind and in your body for what you're doing for it. So we're gonna get right into it this morning. So find that comfortable seated position, whatever that might be for you, whether the legs are out in front of you, whether you're sitting in hero's pose. I like to sit on a bolster and raise the hips a little bit so that the knees just organically kind of uh, fall to the floor. While you sit, just feel the shoulders as they kind of drift back over the head. So you may feel slightly reclined in your seat, but I assure you, you are sitting nice and straight. Okay. Draw the belly button in and up. So we have this nice long line of perfection from the crown of the head. Sarahara chakra, the tough one to get out, and the Muladhara chakra, right? That root chakra that root chakra, that muladhara chakra, allowing us to feel grounded and rooted, knowing that no matter what is happening around us, we are exactly where we are supposed to be. So I'm gonna ask you now to allow the eyes to be the shutters to the room. Allow them to either close or just to be heavy, and you may be finding a gazing point on the floor in front of you. Just allow the lids to be heavy. Feel the shoulders relax. Feel the shoulder blades as they just draw together slightly. Go ahead, draw that belly button in and up so that tailbone is moving towards the earth. Drawing that belly button in and up, creating a nice strong core here. It's going to help develop the muscles even in the back. Just allow the crown of the head to move towards the sky. Chin is parallel to the earth. And the hands, let them be where the shoulders are most relaxed. I know that sounded odd, yes. Let the hands be so that the shoulders are most relaxed. Just bring the awareness to the breath. It's a cooling inhale. Warming exhale through the nostrils. Unless you're suffering from some congestion, I encourage you to breathe in and out through the nose for your entire practice. Each exhale, feel the sit bones as they begin to settle into the earth or the crop beneath you. Exhale, letting go of the thoughts of the days that have been. With each exhale, letting go of the thoughts of the day that has yet to be. When this happens, we are here now together in this present moment. The eyes closed and the energy turned inward. This is not always the easiest task. Sometimes the present moment is a struggle. But I invite you, I urge you, I encourage you to stay. Stay with me. Be here. Be here now.
choosing to truly tune into the breath here. As you inhale, feel the belly rise. As you exhale, feel the belly fall. Inhale, the belly will rise. Exhale, draw the belly button in and up. So the body is working as this well-oiled machine. As we inhale, the belly will rise. The diaphragm drops. The lungs, they fill with air. As you exhale, the diaphragm lifts, pushes all the air out of the lungs, drawing the belly button back towards the spine. Inhale, feel the belly rise. Exhale, feel it fall. Inhale, visualize the diaphragm drop as the lungs they fill with air like a balloon. As you exhale, see this balloon deflate. Diaphragm lifts, pushing all the air out of the lungs. If you're comfortable with this belly breath, I invite you to stay here. If you're taking a different variation of breath, maybe your Vespasan or yogic three part breath, inhale, feel the belly, the ribs, and the chest fill with air. As you exhale, chest, ribs, As you inhale, fill belly, ribs, and chest. Feel the sides, the back, the front of the body. Fill and expand with right air. Exhale, just like that balloon deflating. Top, middle, and bottom. A few more, just like this. Inhale, belly, ribs, and chest. Exhale, chest. And belly. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Allow the eyes to remain closed. Continue with your breath. Allow it to happen. Become witness to how you feel right now. There is no judgment. Just witness to your breath. Witness to your mind. Where is it going? Know that there is. No place else to be. Be here now. Allow the hands to pull together, heart center. The thumbs touching the Anahata Chakra, the center of love, compassion, empathy. In this mudra of balance and of gratitude. to the map to find simply that balance. To remind ourselves that a life filled and lived with gratitude is wildly abundant. No matter what the circumstance. So I ask you to not only call to mind your song call, your dedication, your to mind something that you are grateful for. And in this tumultuous time, offer gratitude to those doctors and nurses and first responders.
moment of gratitude for our mind for simply stepping out of the way, even if it's just for this time. Sending out some of prayer and good wish to all those who may be in need. I encourage you to include yourself. Let's begin our time together. With the sound of three ohms, wherever you are, exhale all the air out. Inhale. shift of our energy. Reminding ourselves that our pure essence is love. Peace and food. Allow the eyes to flutter open. Think of it as a new start to the day, starting now, right? So keeping in that comfortable seated position. Yeah, let's inhale, take the arms out and up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Two more, just like this, inhale. Maybe look at those fingertips, exhale. One more, inhale. Leave the fingertips up there, allow the biceps to hug the ears. As we exhale, hinge at the hips. Nice little forward fold here. Don't let that back round. You want this nice long spine. So just walk the fingertips out in front of you. And maybe just wiggle from side to side. Begin to feel the stretch under the armpits. Begin to feel maybe a little release in the lower back. As you inhale, Come to fingertips, look up, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, we take it over to the right here. So the fingertips are in line, the right fingertips with the right knee. Both sit bones rooting, grounding into the earth as you walk those left fingertips out. Hinging at the hips, there's a little twist happening here. So the heart is over the knee. So lead with the heart and not with the head. So try not to drop the head. Keeping the spine long, this long line of energy from the crown to the seat. Left sit bone rooting into the ground. Inhale deep. Exhale complete. Inhale, halfway lift. Look up the length of the spine. Nice. As we exhale, we walk it over to the left now. Slow go here, there's no rush. Left fingertips in line with that left wing. Walk those right fingertips out. That right sit bone is rooted, grounded into the earth. Inhale, lifts and lengthens. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Keep walking the fingertips out. Lead with the heart here. Both sit bones rooting into the earth. Feeling the stretch into the armpit, release in the lower back. Opening up that right side body. Breathing in and out through the nose, if that's available to you today. 
Inhale, lifts and lengthens the spine. Exhale, walk it through center. Pause here. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Forward fold. Just breathing here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hold it here. Inhale, box it up. Nice. Right hand comes behind you. We're twisting. Left arm up to the sky. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Open that left side body. Exhale, take that left hand, place it on the outside of the right thigh. Pause here as you just look to the right. Yes. Inhale, lift and lengthen. This is the spine. So we, again, we give a quick check of that posture. Those hip points are facing forward. As you exhale, begin to gaze out over that right shoulder. Be mindful of the neck here. In and exhale through the nose. Keep drawing the belly button in and up. Find the breath. I feel a little squishy since the belly is in a little bit of a twist. Breathing in and out through the nose. As you exhale, release nice and slow. Head, shoulders, then the torso. A little gentle twist in the opposite direction. Yeah, come back through center. Give a quick check of those hip points facing forward. Left hand behind you, right arm up to the sky. Inhale, lifts and lengthens. Nice. Exhale, right hand to the outside of the left thigh. And pause and just gazing to the left here. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale, gaze goes out over the left shoulder. Keep twisting here, drawing that belly button back towards the spine. The more you gaze over that left shoulder, try not to drive that right hip forward on the earth. Unclench the teeth and breathe. In and out through the nose, find the breath, even though the belly's a little squishy. And then as you exhale, very gently, the head, the shoulders, the torso, nice little gentle twist in the opposite direction, a little counter twist. Nice, go ahead, take the legs out in front, give them a shake. While we're here, let's do that little lymphatic love. So, Cupping the hands so we have this nice cup. Down the legs. Up. And then find a pause and pull up the arms, down the arms. Don't forget the armpits. And switch. Right armpit. And then a gentle twist with that right hand, right? Three breaths. We take three breaths with the exhale on the ah. So tap, begin to tap very gently to find this. Inhale here. Ha. Two more. Inhale. Ha. Last one. Inhale. Ha. Beautiful. Find Dandasana. Dandasana hands either side of the hips. Feel the sit bones rooting, grounding into the earth. I want you to straighten the legs as much as you can. It's okay to have a little bend. Shoulders are, again, Kind of uh, a little back, right? You feel a little reclined because they are in line with the hips. Just begin to point to flex the feet. That point, flex. So if we've been walking or riding our bicycles, the feet and the ankles, again, just a little up here. Go ahead and nice big circles. And then reverse. 
beautiful. Now, go ahead and crisscross those legs the opposite way in which they were. And uh, we're going to do a little neck work here, just very gently. Take the gaze forward, find that dristy on the wall. Find your breath. Maybe the eyes are a little heavy. Again, shift those shoulders back over the hips. Allow the hands to be comfortable so that the shoulders are not stressed. As you inhale, take the gaze and the chin all the way up to the sky. Only go as far as you can that doesn't cause discomfort in the neck. Be mindful here. Exhale, chin to chest. As you take the chin to chest, draw the shoulders back, retract the shoulder blades. Inhale, chin comes up to the sky. Again, be mindful, do what feels good, nice and slow here. Slow go. Exhale, chin to chest. Trap those shoulder blades, shoulders back and down. Let's do two more in this direction. The breath is matching the movement, so the breaths are very long here. Maybe it's a count of five, up and down. One more. And exhale. Come back to that neutral place. We're going to go right to left. Very simple, very slow movements. Inhale to the right, just as far as you can go. Yes, exhale to the left. Again, don't go beyond. Where the body tells you. The body will tell you when to stop. Long breaths here. Allow the chin to just kind of draw this line. The chin remains parallel to the earth. One more to the left. I, of course, lost count. And then just find your chin and back to that center posture. Let's take the chin to the chest. Again, draw the shoulders back and down. Shoulder blades just drawing towards each other. Begin to take the chin back and forth to each shoulder. So just as though a pendulum would swing, like a old grandfather clock. So just gentle movements here. And then the next time the chin Winds up over to that right shoulder. Yeah, go ahead and take that left ear to the left shoulder. Take those right fingertips, walk them out. Maybe you take the left hand and allow it to come down a little bit. Maybe not. Again, we do what feels good in our bodies. What works for you? breath or two here. Go ahead and walk the fingertips back. As you do so, draw the chin back to the chest. Little pendulum swing here, maybe one or two times. Yes. And then the next time the chin comes over to the left, yeah, draw the right ear to the right shoulder. Walk the left fingertips out. Maybe you take the right hand to the top of the head and gently take it down. Maybe not. Again, we do what feels good in our bodies. So just opening up the neck a little bit, creating a little bit of space. As you release, draw the left hand in, and like a pendulum again, that chin to the center, to the left, to the right, back to center, and back to neutral. Nice. Full shoulder rolls before we come to hands and knees. Inhale, shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, forward. 
let's take that movement forward first. So you feel the protraction of the shoulder blades, right? You feel them spread behind you. So the entire back body begins to open. So really think deep, right? Who's watching? It's the beauty of being able to do it at home. Now reverse. Feel that opening across the chest. Feel the retraction of the shoulder blades. Nice. And pause. Beautiful. We're going to find ourselves to on hands and knees. So whichever, however, is best for you to get there. We're going to take the hands under the shoulders. Knees are under the hips. Just give a little rock from side to side here. Maybe you're a little snap crackle pop. Have the tops of the feet out. If you need a little cushion under those knees, go ahead and take it. Fingers are spread. Nice and wide here. Belly drawn in and up. As you inhale, tip the tailbone up. Drop the belly, look up. Exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, tips the tailbone up. Drop the belly, look up. Exhale, tuck and round. A few more, just like this. Really exaggerate here. Halloween cat. cow full of milk. Visualize this in your head. And allow your body to fall into that posture as you see it in your mind. And then find pause in all fours one more time. Nice. Let's take that right leg. Put it behind us. Let me walk up a little bit on my neck. Right leg behind us. The toes are curled under here. Push out through that back heel. And just kind of rock back and forth, and you'll rock the shoulders over the wrists and the back. So you feel a little stretch in the calf. Nice stretch under toe. And then go ahead and lift that right leg. Maybe it doesn't lift. Maybe the toes stay on the earth. Wherever you are is perfect. Try not to open up that hip. We want to keep the hips in line with one another. That back leg, we're pushing out through the back heel. Maybe the leg is completely straight. Maybe there's a slight bend in the knee. Walk those left fingertips out, tend the fingers. And maybe this is enough. Maybe you lift that left hand. Drawing the belly button in and up. So you have this duality, pushing out through the back heel, reaching forward with those left fingertips. Inhale here, and exhale, nice. One more breath, inhale, exhale, the left hand comes down. Inhale, exhale, takes that left leg out to the left. Yes, so think of a warrior two leg, right foot actually. We wanna take the weight into the outer edge of that right foot so that right inner arch is lifted. Draw the belly button in and up. Come to fingertips first. We're going to use those belly muscles. Inhale. Arms come up. Nice. Exhale. Left hand to left thigh. Inhale, lift and let them. Exhale, go ahead and open up that left side body here. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Where we're taking the weight to the outer edge of that foot. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. As you exhale, right hand will come to the right hip for now. The left hand will come to the earth. So I want you to take the pelvis forward, hips are forward, making sure that that left wrist and shoulder are in line with one another. Maybe the right foot comes up. Yes. Right arm up to the sky. Again, send the hips forward, shoulders back. A version of Ardha Chandrasana half moon. Maybe the toes are still on the floor. You're perfect wherever you are. Remember, doing what you can, loving what you do. Love your body for what it's doing. 
Don't judge it for what it's not. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale, inhale. Foot comes down, arms come up. Exhale, both hands down. Inhale, we lift that leg. Exhale, take it around. Back to all fours. Inhale, tips the tailbone up, drops the belly, look up. Exhale, tuck and round. One more here. Inhale, tips the tailbone up, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, tuck and round. Beautiful, find that nice flat back because I walked on my mat when I did that. We're gonna move up a little bit. Toes are curled under. Again, rocking back and forth, shoulders over the wrists, and push out through that back heel. So you're feeling a nice stretch in that calf. Feel the stretch under your toes. Don't forget that little pinky toe. When you're ready, inhale, left leg up. Toes are dialed down. Yes. Hips are as level as they can be. Walk those right fingertips out, so tend the fingers. Working balance here, so nice strong core as you push out through that back heel and reach out through those right fingertips. Breathing here. So if it's too much on the shoulder, maybe you reach back behind you. It's all good. Keep pushing out through that back heel. Keep reaching through those fingertips, no matter what direction you're in, whether they're forward or behind you. Exhale the right hand down. Inhale here. Exhale, left leg out to the left. Remember that, those warrior feet. Tempt the fingers, draw the belly button in and up. Shoulders are back and down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left hand to left leg, right arm. Opening up that right side body. So where's the gaze? The gaze could be up towards that right hand or it could be towards the foot. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, left hand to the waist, right hand to the earth. Fingers could be flat or tented. Yes, maybe we lift that back leg, sending the hips forward, left arm up to the sky. And again, where's the gaze? What feels good? Breathing here. As you inhale, the foot comes down, arms come up. Exhale, both hands down. Inhale, we lift that leg. Exhale, takes it around. Finding a round or two of cat and cow. Inhale, tips the tailbone up. Exhale, tuck and round. Maybe you need to adjust the body. Maybe the body walked on the mat a little bit. It's okay. And then the next time you find yourself in that flat back, flat back position, or I mean toes together, knees are wide, seat to the heels. Maybe rock back and forth just a little bit. Maybe walk the fingertips forward. Don't worry about the head coming to the earth. I want you to find that stretch under the arms. And then maybe the head will come down. Maybe the chest will come down. Where are you? Where is your body? That's all that's important. Breathing here. Allow the third eye center, the Agnya Chakra, to touch the earth, reconnecting to the earth. The earth provides us so much sustenance, so much support. Take a moment of gratitude. And then walk the hands back and find yourself in that child's pose that allows you to surrender completely. So maybe the arms are behind you, maybe they're still in front of you. Maybe the knees are together. 
Relaxing our child's pose. Wonderful posture. If you suffer from headaches or menstrual cramps, helps relieve both symptoms of both uneasefulness. Just walk the hands to the thighs as you slowly, slowly come to rise. Nice, draw the knees together. Curl the back toes under. Go ahead, sit on those heels for a moment. Hands together, heart center. Do a little check first. Where's that pinky toe? Did you get that pinky toe under there? I want you to feel that stretch. Hands together, heart center, allow the thumbs to touch the Anahata chakra. Let's take three breaths here as we come into toe crunch asana. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Allow the hands to come to the earth. Tap out those feet. Yes, beautiful. Maybe walk the knees back a little bit. Again, take those right, that right foot out behind you. Curl the back toes under. Push out through that back heel. Inhale, lifts. Just as high as the head. Nice. Exhale. Take that right foot. Place it in between your hands. Yeah, so don't step up here. Inhale. Halfway lift, look up, lengthen. So we give a quick check of the posture here. Let's keep that back knee down. We could take the left hand under the left shoulder. If you need a block, you go ahead and take a block. Right hand to the right thigh as we begin to twist. Keep drawing that belly button in and up. Think of that lower left rib cage moving towards that right thigh. Think about the top shoulder in line with the bottom. Maybe right arm comes up. Maybe you curl the back toes under. Lift the back knee and push out through that back heel. Completely up to you. Exhale, both hands either side of that front foot. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, walk the hands back. Yeah, so we're finding Half monkey here. So keep drawing the heel to the earth, toes towards the nose. Nice long line of perfection here. Maybe you need blocks on either, either side. If you don't have blocks and have those cans of tomatoes, that's good too. Now from here, I want you to take the hands and walk them over to the right side. Let's stretch go a little bit deeper. If you have your blocks on your right side, giving you a little lift, bringing the earth up to you. Inhale here. Exhale, walk the hands back where they were. As you inhale, walk the hands forward, bend that front knee, making sure that the knee and the ankle are in line. Inhale. Arms up. And breathe. Inhale here. Exhale, both hands down. Beautiful. Curl the back toes under here. Lift that back knee. Find your way. Downward facing dog. Woohoo! First down dog of the day. Allow it to feel good here. The knees, it's okay to be slightly bent. We're drawing the heels towards the earth. Biceps and ears are in line. Fingers are spread wide and you're pushing the mat away from you. Inhale, body to plank pose. Hold it here. Exhale, downward dog. One more here, inhale to plank. 
Hold it. Knees could be down. Exhale, downward dog. Let's inhale the body to plank pose. Yeah, exhale, take the knees down. Shoulders are open, wrists here as you inhale. As you exhale, keep those elbows tight, tight, tight to the body as you lower down. All the way to the mat. Go ahead and extend the legs out behind you. So now if we have some lower back issues, I encourage you to take the legs a little wider on the mat. Draw the shoulders back and away from the ears. Hands are under the shoulders, but thumbs are still pointed towards each other. As you inhale, just gently lift head, neck, and chest. Don't come up all the way. Keep those elbows tight to the body. Exhale, lower down, allow the forehead to rest. Take a breath. As you inhale, lift head, neck, and chest. This time, lift the hands. Don't let those back feet fly. Keep pressing them into the earth. Exhale, lower. Allow the forehead to rest. Take a breath. Last time here. Inhale, lift head, neck, and chest. Nice. Tops of the feet pressing into the mat as you lift those hands. Elbows are tight to the body. Exhale, lower. Take a breath. As you inhale, push through child's pose. Nice extended child's pose here. Go ahead and begin to pendulum those hips back and forth here. Getting into those hips just a little bit. Now, some nice big circles to the right. Don't worry, I'm gonna forget about the other side. I know what you're thinking. And then to the left. Beautiful. And then find your way to those all fours. Yeah. Go ahead and wiggle that bum just a little bit back and forth, just a little bit. And then the left leg extends behind you. Again, we give that little rock back and forth. And then on the inhale, lift. Toes are dialed down. Exhale, step that foot in between the hands. Yes, maybe you have a block under that right hand as it's under the right shoulder. Left hand to the left thigh as we twist. Yes, right lower ribs now, moving towards that left thigh. Left arm comes up. Maybe you curl the toes under, push out through the back heel like you did on the other side. Maybe not. You're perfect. Exhale, both hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, look up, lengthen. Exhale, walk the hands back, half Hanumanasana here. So nice hamstring stretch, keep that left foot flexed. So what does that mean? The toes are moving towards the nose and the heel is moving away from you. So we're gonna get a little deeper into that IT band. So again, if you have blocks, take them with you as you begin to walk the hands over to the left. Little twist here. Breathing. Go ahead and walk those hands back. Inhale, exhale, find your way into half Hanunasana here. Another breath or two. And then walk the hands up. Yes. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale it out. Another breath or two. Exhale. 
Exhale, both hands down. Go ahead, curl the back toes under, lift the back knee, we're all gonna step up to the top of the mat. Inhale, steps it up. Exhale, nice forward fold here. Maybe take your fingertips to either side. If you need some blocks, go ahead and take the blocks either side of your feet. And just walk it out. Okay? Leave the feet where they are and simply walk it out. Remember the hinges at the hips. And then pause, maybe hold the backs of the legs as you snuggle yourself into your room. Maybe holding on to opposite elbows. And then maybe getting this little pendulum swing. Right? So the right elbow moves back towards the right buttocks. And then the left elbow moves back towards the left buttocks. So you have these little C curves. Find your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, halfway lift, look up and lengthen. You're gonna exaggerate this so the legs straighten. Belly button gets zipped. Exhale, fold. Let's take the hands to the thighs as you inhale to the number seven. Exhale. And inhale, come up to rise. Beautiful, find your Tadasana. So Tadasana, what is Tadasana? Hips, feet are hip width distance apart. We want to root down through the balls and the heels of the feet. Belly button is drawn in and up. Feel the rib cage as it begins to wrap around the organs, shoulders back and down. Outward rotation of the arms. Crown of the head to the sky. There's maybe a gentle bend in the knees. The legs are fully engaged. Bring awareness to the muscles right above the knee. Engage them. Yes. Take breath of two in this very strong posture of Tadasana. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Okay. Inhale, take the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look up, lengthen. Exhale, fold, hands either side of the feet. Let's take that right foot all the way back. Turn the back foot flat and down. We bend the front knee. So warrior two leg, warrior one leg, so pardon me, you're a Pedrasana one. So let's let the hips be happy for a little bit. Think of the mat as a two lane highway. Maybe take the right foot over to the right a little bit, left foot over to the left, so the hips have room to face forward. Fingertips come behind you, front knee is bent, belly button off the thighs. Inhale, the arms come up, warrior one. Be mindful of those shoulders. Is it not working in your shoulders today? Take the hands to your heart center. Where are those hips? Right hip is forward, left hip moving back, that front knee is bent. When you're ready, exhale it out. Warrior two. My feet moved. Yes, that's okay. Find your space. See that back foot, weight is in the outer edge. Whoa, my arms are flying. Beautiful. Inhale here and exhale. We inhale to star. Toes are in, heels are out, arms are up. As you exhale, the heels in. 
toes out, goddess pose. Sweep the hands together, heart center here. Drop the seat. Go ahead, zip it, right? So draw the belly button in and up. You're starting to feel that now, I am. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to star. Exhale, worry to other side. Yeah. Breathe here. As you inhale, warrior one to the back of your mat. Where are those hips? Do you need to move your feet? Beautiful. Inhale, star. Nice. Exhale. Got it. Where are those tailbone? Yes. Inhale to star. Exhale. Feet together. Hands together. Heart center. Inhale deep. Exhale. Complete. Beautiful. Make your way to the top of the mat because we're going to make our way to our backs. So finding ourselves on balls or tippy toes. The legs are zipped together. As you lower, we take the seat to the heels. If this isn't happening, don't worry. We're all going to meet together. Shoulders over the hips. That's where I usually lose it. Nice. Whoops, there we go. Separate the knees. And come down to the earth. Great. Let's take the legs out in front. Give them a little shake. We're going to do one forward fold here. If you have a bolster or a blanket, go ahead and take it and slip it under your knees. I'm using a small bolster. Um, that's what I like, but be my guest. Use a nice big bolster. It's even yummier. So I have it close to my seat, which if you're using the big bolster, do that also. The legs are separated. Let the feet flop out to the side here. We want this nice restorative forward fold. We want this nice tall spine. Inhale. As we exhale, hinge at the hips. And maybe the belly rests on the bolster. So if you really want to get um, crafty here, if you have another uh, block or a book, you might not want to use a can or a pillow or a can and a pillow. Go ahead and just rest the head here. Breathe. So these forward folds are surrender postures. In today's day and age, we surrender to, to so much. We surrender to the fact that we must stay inside. Surrender to the fact that there are so many things that are beyond our control. But I ask you to surrender to the things that we so often push to the side. That is our peace, our joy, our love, that light that shines within you. As you inhale, slowly begin to rise. You have that bolster under your knees already. You're going to go ahead and lower down to the earth. And you're going to find your final posture, Shavasana. I will hold space for you seated. So once you're there, allow the bolster to remain under your knees if that's comfortable. To find yourself comfortable and settled in. 
Find your breath. Begin that inhale and exhale through the nose. Conscious, consciously breathing. Bring the awareness to the feet and feel the feet as they relax. Your legs all relaxed. Your buttocks, your hips, your pelvis relaxed. Your belly and your lower back relaxed. Your torso relaxed. Your shoulders are relaxed. Your arms are relaxed. Your hands relaxed. And your neck. Your eyeballs resting in your eye sockets. Relax. And your nose relaxed as it begins to spread wide across your face and your lips relaxed. Your whole body. Your whole body. is relaxed and the mind will want to follow. And the mind will stay awake. Simply witness. There's no judgment, just witness. When you're ready, allow the awareness to connect to the mind to the breath. to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Take your arms overhead. Give yourself a nice big stretch as though the first stretch of the day, the first stretch of your lifetime. Take the knees into your chest and give yourself a hug. Give yourself the love that you so willingly and easily give to others, give to yourself right now. And then roll over onto the right side. Yeah. Pushing to the floor with the left hand. Now the eyes to remain closed or heavy. As you push into the floor, 
and come up to a comfortable seated position. Take a quick check of that posture, shoulders over the hips, crown reaching towards the sky, the chin parallel to the earth. Reading from the Golden Crescent on April 15th, Swami Sachinananda. Your faith in Jesus washed your karma. A question to Swami Sachinananda. Is it proper to say that Jesus took the karma of man upon himself? Is this the same as other masters assuming the karma of their disciples? Sri Gurudev, Swami Satchitananda answers, the masters or prophets or sages don't take away your karma. They can, but normally they don't. Instead, they give you the strength to face your karma and purge it out. It's not right for someone to take away your karma. You are the cause of your karma. You sowed it. Now you shall reap it. What you conceive, another cannot deliver. If you really believe the Bible, and if you think, yes, Jesus took my karma the day I accepted him into my life, then why should you even worry about it? That means you have some doubt. Why? Because it's not that easy. The impure mind will not even allow you to accept the truth. But if you really feel, yes, he took my karma and I am completely free from it, then you are free. That does not mean that he took your karma away. How did you get yourself free from karma? By faith. Your faith in Jesus washed your karma. He himself said that, did he not? Your faith has saved you. Your faith has made you whole. If you don't have faith, then even Jesus cannot do that. He would not do that. And why can't you have that faith? Because your own mind is still unclean. It won't harbor that kind of faith. Though you want to have it in your heart, they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Even to have that kind of faith, you should have that kind of perfect purity. Allow the hands to come to your heart center. Again, we find ourselves in this mudra of gratitude and of balance. I hope today that this practice has brought you some sort of balance into your life. And please know that I am so grateful for each of you coming out and sharing your beautiful selves with me. It has been an honor, a pleasure, and a pure privilege. Let us end our time together with the sound of one single OM. Exhale all the year out. Inhale. Oh. Two, may the entire universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light. Jai Shri Satguru Maharaj Ki and let truth overcome all darkness. The spirit and the light in me honors, loves and respects the spirit and the light in you. Namaste. Bow now, sailing in your practice, sailing in your peace, sailing in your love, sailing in your light, take it with you and share it with everyone you meet. Thank you for joining me. Remember, all these classes are being posted to YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It's just the Yoga Center, the Mobile Yogi. And I look forward to seeing you. Friday is Chair Yoga. And always a pleasure. Love you all. Have a great day, ladies.
Have a beautiful day, Susan. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank, Thank you so, you. so much. Sue. Love you all. Love you. Love you. All. Love Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Have a great one. Thank you, Sue. Love you. Thank you.